All right, so I guess I'm just going with the flow at this point because I said I was going to have my schedule uploads and have like videos posted on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then the days that are not scheduled, it might be just random videos. Uh, at, at this point, it's like kind of like a daily upload <laughs> because like I'm just sort of going with the flow at this point because there's still a lot of stuff I need to cover, get back into with uh, recording, posting videos and everything. So at this point, I'm just like kind of going with the flow. And there's still a lot to be talked about um, because like now that I'm starting to get more familiar with the game and then just seeing like uh, the community with what everybody's saying, um, like for the 4.5 year anniversary, so uh, Magirna and Gladiant, like we're doing the story event right now. Um, and for these kind of story events, I always recommend people to, uh, to grind up and uh, beat these story events because you do get some good items. And uh, when you save up all these items and you do them every time they come around, uh, you can save up and then get a good amount of stuff. So when you do get the uh, synchro that you've been wanting for a while, at least you already have the resources that you uh, that you have grinded for that you can put into the new synchro. And it's great. It's always great to do that. Um, so they, obviously they don't give you like a, a crazy amount at once, but like when you just save them and you just do these uh, events on a monthly basis and you're consistent with it, then like I mean you're gonna get a good amount of stuff. So, like, I'm just going, I'm just rocking this event with uh, the new free-to-play uh, Lucario and Riley that just came out. Because I've been loving this Sync Bear. Uh, like, obviously, they're not the best because they're, like, free-to-play. Um, but, I mean, they're, they're actually pretty solid. Like, they're fun to use. Like, they got a max move. Um, and um, they have close combat, which I love. And uh, defensively, they're, they're, they're okay. They're not the best. Um, but, like, their offensive stats are actually pretty solid, considering it's over 400. Like, it's 430 on special attack and physical attack. And then their speed is a crazy high number as well, which is, like, 430. So, like, they're they're, they're pretty solid. Um, but, um, but yeah, so, like, just grind this event and uh, just save up your materials. So, when you do get your Zinkware, at least you have your materials ready to go. Um, so, going to the 4.5 year anniversary, though. Uh, I'm going to kind of use this time to, like, just kind of talk to you guys. And just say like what I think is going to happen for the 4.5 year anniversary. Because now, again, like I said, I'm getting familiar with the game again. And I've been talking with people in the community, my friends that are still playing. Um, and a lot of people are speculating the, uh, uh, what is it, the Paldia uh, legendaries, the box legendaries. Um, like that's what mainly more of what I've been seeing. Um, and if they do come, that would be freaking awesome because I do love those legendaries. Um, so like... Yes, Magirna and uh, Gladian. They're they're definitely very very good. Like I've seen a video where they actually uh, cleared a uh, champion stadium battle with three thousand points solo. <laughs> like that's a crazy uh, accomplishment with that character. So they're definitely very good. Um, but like with Pokemon Day coming up uh, very very soon, and then leaks coming out with uh, like data mines coming out next week for Pokemon Masters. For the 4.5 year anniversary i would hold off like everyone i would hold off to uh and wait next week until we get data mine information and leaks about uh who the 4.5 year anniversary synchro is going to be um like yes magirna again like they're they're good like there's no denying they're very good so regardless wait till next week when we get the information on uh, what the characters are going to be, then you can decide if you want to summon for Magirna and Gladian, or if you want to wait until the 4 or 5 year anniversary synchros come out. And, uh, like, I'm not, like, before in the past, I would always, like, buy my gems and everything, too. Um, considering, like, I wanted to, like, start up my YouTube channel and everything, so I wanted to make sure I was summoning and everything, just to kind of, like, get more traction to my YouTube channel, of course. But now... Uh, I'm not really doing that just because I have like other expenses like uh, in my personal life that I need to worry about. Um, I can't really spend and considering YouTube doesn't give me an income right now. <laughs> uh, like I'm just I'm having fun with it. Like I'm not I'm not I'm not stressing about it. Like it's really fun. I, I love grinding the YouTube game um, and then playing Pokemon Masters like uh, now that I got my spark back for it. Like I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the process. I don't care if I'm not getting paid. <laughs> I'm still going to do this if I'm getting paid or not. Like I'm I'm, I'm having fun. Um, but like, I'm not spending money. So like, I'm going to be waiting until the leaks and like as, as impatient as I am, like if you know me on a personal level, <laughs> I am a very impatient guy. Uh, so the fact that I'm actually willing to wait, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys could wait too. Like if you knew me on a personal level, you would know how impatient I am. 
But like I'm telling you guys, you should wait for the 4.5 year anniversary, or at least until the the data mine. So at least we know who the uh, sync pairs are gonna be. Like again though, like I mentioned in my other videos already, I'm not gonna be making videos for a while on uh, if the character is good, if you should summon, because I've been out of the loop for the game for a while, like eight months, a while, um, and. Uh, like, I can't really say, like, if characters are good, if the meta and everything, because I've just been out of the game for a while. So, I feel I just don't have the right. Now, I I've been repeating myself quite a bit in videos, uh, but that's because, like, not everybody watches every single video. So, I kind of have to repeat myself, just so, like, in case, like, you're new, uh, then at least you know. Um, so, like, if you are a reoccurring viewer, um, I'm sorry for <laughs> repeating myself. It's just kind of how it has to be. Uh, just because, like, again, not a lot of people uh, watch every single video because at the rate that I'm posting videos right now, like, for the most, like, in the matter of, like, five days, I probably posted, like, six videos or something like that. So, like, I'm on track for doing, like, a video a day, which is good. But, like, not everybody's going to be watching a video every single day. And that I understand. And I'm the same way. Like, there's a lot of YouTubers that I enjoy watching, but I just don't have time to watch every single video. Um, and obviously depending on the game as well, uh, like if the character doesn't intrigue me I'm probably not gonna watch the video on a showcase and stuff like that just because like I don't care about the character uh, But if the personality of the youtuber is good, then I'll watch it anyway um, But th th that's a different topic <laughs> Getting a little bit off course there um, but like m like <laughs> The thing that I do hate, like, uh, uh, like kind of a little bit off topic again, though, like, the thing that I'm actually really hating with Pokemon Masters is they are really paywalling a lot of stuff. And uh, it's crazy. Like, before I left, like, I knew, I like, I know they were already doing uh, a lot of paywalling stuff. Uh, but now, oh my god, it is. <laughs> it's getting crazy. Now I see why a lot of players are actually leaving. Like, and, and it's the color of truth. Like, I, I did, I did notice that there are a lot of people leaving the game now. And uh, I was talking to uh, more of the people in the community, my friends, on why uh, that's the case. And it's a little, and comments too that I've been seeing that it's because uh, the game is doing a lot of paywall and stuff, and not a lot of people are, are enjoying that. And of course, free to play players are hating it, and rightfully too, because it kind of sucks. Like, uh, for example, Red and Venusaur, they paywalled him. <laughs> Like, you can't even get it with free gems. It's crazy. So, like, it's stupid. And I totally understand that. And with me being mainly a uh, free-to-play uh, player at the moment, um, like, of course, if I need to spend gems, then I will. But, like, I mean, I mean, to be fair, you don't need to spend gems. It's, like, more of, like, a want. Uh, so, like, if I want to spend gems, then I probably will. But I'm not going to do anything, like, crazy. Like, I'll probably just spend, like, $30, $40 here or whatever. Um... But not anything crazy like before. Like before, I was spending hundreds, but <laughs> like, like I was financially fine, so like it's fine. I, like it was a hobby, whatever, uh, for YouTube as well. So I didn't mind at all. Um, but like for people that are strictly free to play players, oh, oh, it is, <laughs> it is brutal. It is really brutal for you guys, and I feel very bad. Um, like just paywalling characters strictly to pay gems is stupid, and like. That shouldn't be the case. Like, if you want to do uh, a, a paid uh, scout, um, then you can maybe increase the chances or something like that. Or you can get some other bonuses, like uh, get some premium items when you summon on the paid gem uh, sync pair scout. As opposed to the free one. Like, I mean, like, there's so many things that they could do. But, like, just strictly uh, paywalling it to where you can't use free gems like, is it, it, dumb. I'm always going to be on the free-to-play player side. Uh, to a certain extent, like uh, obviously the the game needs to survive, and, and in order for the game to survive, they need to put stuff out there that like you need to buy. Um, but not like eighty percent of the game at this point. Like it's stupid. It, like I'm like I, I'm still I'm still mind blown by that. <laughs> There's so much that has like my, me mind blown with uh, what has changed in a negative way. Uh, regardless, I'm still enjoying the game though. But going back on topic though. Wait till next week to find out more information on the sync pairs, on who the 4.5 year anniversary is going to be. So now, like, as you can see on the gameplay, I uh, beat this event. I'm going to be getting the 4 star medal. Um, like, I, I, I said this before in other videos too. Like, I'm going to be recording everything I do, um, and especially with getting these collection medals as well. Like, I'm going to be recording it, so at least I have it on track, like on record. <laughs> so at least I can look back and be like, oh yeah, I got this medal too, so... 
Uh, but yeah, like, let me know what you guys think of uh, the 4.5 year anniversary, the run up, uh, what you think of Magirna, who you think is going to be the 4.5 year anniversary. Because there are a lot of speculations, like, there's a lot, like, there's a lot, like, but majority of what I've seen is going to be uh, uh, the new generation legendaries uh, from uh, uh, Paldia. Uh, which is like Cryodon and Maridon, uh, from what I've heard with the two professors. Um, like there's a lot of speculations, like I said, so it's hard to really pinpoint on uh, what could be the most accurate or the, 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 like the best guess for who the 4.5 year anniversary could be. Um, but it'll always like this is the this is where the most fun is though. So I'm excited. I can't wait for next week. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, like, stuff going around so like even without characters like events and new stuff that they could possibly be adding so it's interesting i'm excited but again let me know what you guys think uh that'll be it for this video i'm just gonna kind of let things go for the rest of this video where i claim the rest of my items but in terms of me talking this is gonna be it <laughs> so i'll see you guys on the next video have a good day and i'll see you guys